Hello and welcome to another video where we talk about how this rule file here on the left is creating this building on the right. So if we just look down the rule file very quickly, we'll go through the main parts. At the top we've got a header, below that we have a version number, and then we have attributes which are hashed out. So that tells me that these are the attributes. And I have one attribute which is height equals nine, so nine meters. Uh, so later on a rule file a rule will reference this. Then I have some textures. So I have const front text, back text, roof text, and each of these I have a file path. So equals uh, quotation marks and then assets forward slash flats forward slash and then the file name. These are all stored in the project folder. So here we can go assets, flats, and inside there I have the correct JPEGs. So it's very important these are named correctly and this file path is correct. If this file path uh, changes for whatever reason, then the rule file won't work. Okay, then I come to my start rule where we have footprint and we have extrude by height, which I've already mentioned is nine meters and call that building. It's just worth noting that our nine meters takes us from the ground up to the top of this line here. So this is the top, this is nine meters, and then this roof sits on top of that. So uh, nine meters is not this part here, it's this part here. Okay, uh, so the fallout of that is gonna be called building. And then for my building rule, I do a component split of faces, and I've got the front, left, back, right and top and they're going to be called wall one wall two wall three wall four and wall five and roof sorry and wall five there we go we've got the roof and then each one of those has its own rule so wall one two three four and roof okay so i started out uh, in a very similar way as the last demo when i was creating this and i gave each wall a different color using hex codes and i gave the roof a color and then my next stage was to uh, add the textures, so the images themselves. So that's this uh, set projection. So the way I did that is I went on the CGA reference. No, I'm lying to you. I went to the tutorials and I went to tutorial six and tutorial seven and I had a read through those towards the bottom. Here we go, yeah, so towards the bottom, uh, I've come down, I've, I've worked through this tutorial previously and I think I copied this uh, piece of CGA out into my own rule file and then changed uh, the asset that it's looking for. So rather than look for whatever it was looking for, I changed that to back text and then back text links to my file path there. So I've hit Control S, Control G, and that's done the different sides. For the roof, I've used um, one of the tiles as well so I think for the roof I use ceramic roof 4 and then at certain parts I've just changed some of the values uh, as I was going through so that these numbers repeat okay so what I'm going to do at the end of this video I'll upload this to YouTube and then I'm going to copy and paste hopefully this rule file and I'm going to put it in the description so if you're doing this tutorial, you'll be able to copy and paste my rule file into a new CGA rule and then edit that and start to develop that yourself. Okay, thanks for listening and stay tuned for future videos.